I'm here to talk a bit about refrigeration thermal energy storage and its role in decarbonization. Essentially, you can chill a storage material. This could be, for example, ice, a dedicated phase change material, or the product that you're cooling itself. And this storage material can later be tapped, like a battery, as a heat sink when you want to give your refrigeration compressors a break. So why is this important for decarbonization? Keeping things cold uses a lot of energy, and this technology gives you options to optimize your facility. Let's say, for example, you own a refrigerated warehouse that needs to store frozen turkeys at negative five degrees. And you know that your compressors run at peak efficiency when they're fully loaded to 100%. This technology gives you the options to run your compressors at their optimal loading point while you overcool the product down to say negative 10 degrees, and then shut your compressors off and allow the turkeys to naturally float back up to their negative five degree set point. In this scenario, you never have to deal with inefficient part loading of your system and you can maximize energy efficiency. One final benefit to, to this technology is in the ability to choose exactly when your compressors are running. This allows you to shift your peak, peak electricity load, avoiding expensive time of use rates and giving our electricity grid a break during peak hours. This avoids the necessity to run carbon intensive backup electricity plants.